Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel and lock your learning. In this video, we are going to solve ICSE Mathematics Class 7 Chapter 8, uh, Chapter 19, Speed, Time and Distance Exercise 19A Question 14. Fine. What have we got? It says Ajay walked at an average speed of 8 km per hour for 45 minutes and then ran at an average speed of 12 km per hour for 40 minutes as well. Now, what was his average speed for the whole journey? Fine. Now, what is this average speed? Basically, I have a lot, uh, like uh, let's say I have uh, two, dis two, two different distances. Fine. Two kilometers and three kilometers. And let's say I have two different times. One hour and two hour. Fine. Now, I have to find the average speed. That is basically an average. We know what is an average basically we add all the terms up okay and then we divide it by the number of terms same goes here but here you see that uh, we know that the speed right the speed is equal to uh, sorry not this the speed is equal to distance upon time right this much we know now to find the average speed fine now to find the average speed what changes here is that if we are finding the average speed so uh, we are going to be having a number of distances right like 2 kilometer 3 kilometer 5 kilometers and so on right 3 or 4 will be given in the question so to find the average speed we add the distance right so basically in other words we find the total distance upon total time why total time because same case goes for time as well you will not be given one uh, one uh, uniform time like uh, two hours or simply three hours but you will be given uh, different different uh, times right two hours three hours different time for different distance all right so now total distance and total time fine now we in the question here you can see that first it travels at an average speed of 8 km per hour for 45 minutes and then runs the uh, runs at an average speed of 12 km per hour at again the time is same 40 minutes fine so first of all why not add the total time right so total time in the question right so we get basically 40 minutes plus 45 minutes sorry it's not the same it's different but still add this 40 plus 45 becomes 85 minutes right now again in all the questions where we are finding the speed the unit is very important you cannot overlook the unit so you see here we have minutes but we know that our distance is in what kilometers right because in the speed we have kilometers per hour fine so distance will come out in kilometers only now this minutes will need to be converted to hours fine that we cannot proceed further without doing that so this becomes 85 upon 60 right and what will that become cancel this thing cancel this thing by 5 so 1 and 7 35 goes 7 times 1 12 times right so simply you get 17 upon 12 hours for now because this cannot be simplified further and there is no need to convert this into a mixed fraction now uh, now find the total distance right so now here comes the difficult part not really difficult but a lengthy part so find the distance you see average speed is given to us and time is given to us so if we find the distance distance equals to what speed into time right remembering the formula is very important so distance equals to speed into time i'll write s into t, s into t. Uh, now the speed here right uh, so first case for now right let's do the first case when he is walking at an average speed of 8 kilometers per hour fine so in the first case the speed is 8 kilometers per hour so this becomes what speed becomes 8 all right into the time time is what 45 minutes again 45 minutes means what convert this into hours so you get 45 upon 60 
right this will be the distance that will be in kilometers all right don't forget to convert the time into hours right because this is where most of them will be, will go wrong fine so this becomes 3 and 4 we are cancelling it by 15 45 goes 3 times 60 goes 4 times again 4 and 8 1 and 2 so you get what 6 kilometers right this is our first case now we come to the second case when Ajay is running okay so the speed in this one is what 12 kilometers per hour right so the again the distance formula will be the same s into t only the numbers will change so speed becomes what 12 kilometers per hour 12 into t time is what 40 minutes right same thing here 40 is in minutes convert minutes into hours so this becomes 40 upon 60 right and again this will be in kilometers right this is our distance in the second case so 12 1 right 12 and 60 will cut each other 12 1 times and 65 times then 5 and 40 as well will cut each other 5 and 40 so 5 1 times and 4 0 40 goes 8 times so this becomes what 8 kilometers right here we are getting 8 kilometers distance here we are getting 6 kilometers distance so now we can see total distance as well total distance becomes what 6 kilometers plus 8 that is 14 kilometers fine now we find the average speed in the very end right what does our average speed come out to be total distance upon total time total this total time we know total distance also we know that will be 14 upon 12 by 17 uh, sorry 17 by 12 so this becomes 14 divided by uh, 17 by 12 so 14 into 12 by 17 right so let's do 14 into 12 what does this give us let's see 14 into 12, 12, 4, 48, 1, 12, 1, 16, 168, right. So we get what? 168 upon 17. Now, what does this give us? 153, right. So this will go 9 times, right. We, are, we will convert this thing into a mixed fraction, fine. This is clear. So uh, improper fraction, converting to mixed fraction, divide numerator by the denominator, okay. So, 168, we all know that 17 into 9 is what? 153, which is smaller than 150, uh, 168, right? If I go 17 into 10, that will give you 170, right? So, this is more than 168, but we will go with the number which is less than 168. So, this will go how many times? 9 times. Quotient will be 9, fine. So, our whole number becomes 9 and remainder will be 168 minus your 153 fine that will be what 15 okay so 15 upon 17 9 whole 15 upon 17 and the speed will be in kilometer per hour don't forget the unit so this becomes our final uh, answer that is the average speed that is 9 whole 15 upon 17 right if you have not got this process you can simply divide 168 by 17 the quotient will be whole uh, will be your whole number and the remainder that we get will be in the numerator fine denominator will be the same in both the cases and friends this is all for today if you are new to my youtube channel do not forget to subscribe and leave a like on this one till then take good care of yourselves and bye bye